Want to learn more about using scripts in Juno Space? Just sign up for our Juno Space Essentials course. For full details, just visit juniper.net slash courses. Now let's get to your learning bite. Hello, my name is Zach Gibbs and I'm a content developer within education services inside of Juniper Networks. And today we will be discussing the using scripts in Juno Space learning bite. All right, so let's talk about scripting and the benefits in general. Scripting can help out immensely with repetitive tasks that can be very time consuming. For example, gathering traffic statistics through the CLI on a Junos device is, is not very efficient and frankly very mind numbing. It's something that you don't want to have anybody doing sitting on the CLI repetitively looking at stats on an interface over and over again to gather that's that's just not efficient it's just not gonna work and that's where scripting can come in and it can really help with those repetitive tasks alright so let's talk about using Juno space to help manage those scripts uh, back to our example of collecting traffic statistics uh, we can use the Juno space GUI to manage those scripts and then execute those scripts from the Juno space GUI itself all right, so some steps to using scripts in Juno Space. Optionally, you might need to configure the managed devices, and in our demo, I'll show you uh, just that. I'll show you some configuration that we'll have in place before executing scripts, and then we need to import the scripts to the images and scripts workspace. And then finally, we need to execute those scripts, and there's two different places to do that, and I'll show you that in the demo, both of those examples. All right, so here's our example that we're going to be using in the demo. What we have here is we have a Juno Space device connected through to the SRX device on the management network. And uh, so the Juno Space device is going to be managing the SRX device. And then we have Site A that will be sending traffic to Site B. And what we will be doing with our script is we are going to monitor and graph traffic statistics for interfaces Giggy 000 and Giggy 001 on the SRX device. So let's check that out. Let's jump. Uh, let's jump right to the GUI. Actually, here's the CLI instead. I want to show you something first before we jump to the GUI. Here's the SRX device. Let's look at these interfaces. You can see we have traffic uh, going through Giggy 000 and Giggy 001. And it would be a little difficult to, uh, to get these statistics. I mean, we could look at the extensive output get some statistic information but this is just not a feasible way to do it and that's why we're going to use scripts and we're going to use Juno Space to show that so let's jump to the Space GUI now alright here's the Space GUI we're in the network management platform and let's jump to the scripts workspace and then we can select the import script button we can add a new script and browse to it that's just a file that's local here on the desktop I'm working on select that file and open it then we can add the script and if we want to upload multiple scripts we could also select multiple scripts at the same time and then we see our list of scripts In this case it's just our one script and now we can select the import scripts button and now you can see that we have the new script the input output dot slacks script in the workspace here we can right click the script to perform different actions on it and right now let's look at the script details and this is going to allow you to see what the script contains and I'm not going to take time to go through the contents of the script I just wanted to show you that the details of the script are in this section but basically what the script is going to do is collect those interface statistics and then we are going to be able to draw using Google chart okay so let's close this window and there are some other options such as we could actually modify the script from here but we aren't going to do that right now so let's right click the script again and we can do something such as executing the script on the device as we choose right now we just have one device we want to do this on but we could execute this on however many devices space is managing at the moment so here we can select the device, just the SRX device here. 
then we can select the actual script and enter a parameter for the interface we want to monitor. And then we can execute the script. And then we can see the job ID that is created for this. So let's click that job ID. We can see by looking at the job that the script did execute successfully. So let's jump back to the CLI to take a look at that. Alright, so here's the CLI. And you might be asking yourself, well, where did the script go? And that's a good question. So let's look at the configuration in a little more detail. So if we look at the interfaces here, there is some pre-configuration that has been done. First of all, we have an accounting protocol called IF underscore profile applied to both the GIGI00 and GIGI001 interfaces. Then, if we look at the actual accounting options, we can see what is configured here. We have a file called if underscore stats. I want to point out the archive sites is set to just the local var temp directory. In a normal production scenario, you typically would have an archive site that would point towards some sort of syslog server. Then we have that interface profile that is collecting input and output bytes based on the fields configuration. Now we can check out the files that have been stored in the var temp directory. And we can see there's a file called SRX IF stats and it gives the date. That's the actual file, the statistics that were collected and stored in that file. Now if you used an archive site of a syslog server instead of something local on the SRX, this file would have showed up on that syslog server. And one thing that I do want to point out real quick that I should have pointed out earlier is that we do have site A that is sending traffic uh, continuously, ping traffic, to site B. And so that's where the interface statistics are coming from as far as the traffic statistics for the interfaces. So let's jump back to the GUI. So I know I talked about showing a pretty graph here. So let's, let's actually get to that. There's another way to execute a script. And if we go to device management, we can right click on the device itself, select device operations, and then we can select execute scripts. And then select the script and then we have to set a value for the actual interface. Then let's execute the script. This will take just a moment to complete. Alright, that completed. The progress bar reached 100% and we can see the actual graph of the interface stats. Now this is using Google Chart to do this, so keep in mind that this script requires internet access to produce this chart here. And this, this is interactive. We can highlight over the stats, the input and output stats, and notice that they're pretty much the same for input and output. And the reason behind that is with ping traffic, we're sending out a ping, a ping request, and we're getting a ping reply. For every packet sent, we're getting a reply. Now, of course, that is not typical of regular traffic, so keep that in mind if you do use something like this to gather uh, interface traffic statistics. All right, that brings us to the end of this learning bite. Uh, we discussed how to import and execute scripts using Juno Space. And so I hope that this learning bite is useful to you in your day-to-day -day work. And as always, thanks for watching. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths, Juniper Networks certification program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence, and the training community. From forums to social media, join the discussion.